everyone. It's been so, so long since the last vlog, and I really apologize. Um, yeah, the start of the semester was just harder than I thought, and then it was hard to get the more I, the longer I didn't vlog, the harder it was to get back into it. Um, and then I started some, like a few vlogs and for some reason never finished them. But anyway, here I am. I'll just update a little bit about the past semester. So this term I taught my first in-person class ever and it was a really big class. Uh, their enrollment was like 600 students and regularly like a few hundred would show up. So obviously not everyone, but that's okay. It's easier on me actually. <laughs> less eyes looking at me and that was a little bit intimidating and it took me a few weeks to really get used to it. Um, I'm used to like dealing with way less people than that. It was a giant auditorium. I think I have a clip if I do I'll put it in but it was like a theater type stage where I had to stand and I had a projector and I projected my iPad and what I was writing and there was like a main row of seats and then also a balcony so it was like really a really huge classroom and the course was first year calculus so like the material was fine for me it was just like a lot of people <laughs> listening to me and another thing that made it hard was um, so I went to help my boyfriend move because he started a postdoc and I was gone for a few weeks and when I came back like my house was in chaos um, there was this like bug infestation and it was just really horrible and it's I have like five roommates and they're all good except one and this person was just like ruining it for everyone else and that made me so stressed like I was excited to come back and start vlogging and then I came back to this like really gross house and it just like was not a nice environment really so that put me off vlogging a little bit but we got it under control like we had to talk to that person many times and he improved a little bit at least not fully but oh well but that's okay because in may i will move into like my own one bedroom apartment that's subsidized by the university so it'll be like the same cost as where i live now except i won't have five roommates so that's really very nice um so yeah i think this week, I filmed, it's Wednesday, I filmed a little bit on Monday and Tuesday, but didn't really talk because I kept forgetting my microphone. Uh, but today, my class has an exam in the afternoon, so I'll be busy with that. And before that, I'll try to work on my research. It was pretty hard to do it consistently during the term because teaching really takes up a lot of time, especially when you're new to it. Um, and recently I've been liking to read a little bit before I work on my own thesis. Um, and read, I mean, I don't mean fiction, I mean like a book. Um, like I was reviewing a T.M. McDonald's Commutative Algebra just because it was easy to read and I forget some of the little theorems and stuff, so it was a good review. But today I, th I think I'll just read this book. Actually, maybe it's flipped, I can't tell. So this is Introduction to Quantum Groups and Crystal Bases. This quantum groups was one of my potential thesis topics. And it's not in there right now. There's still time it could be. So I think it's good to at least know about it. And in case I continue research, I might work on this stuff. So it's kind of nice to just read. And reading a little bit helps me get into like my math mindset. And actually I realize sometimes if I'm stuck on something and then I, even if I read something different because I like I read all the proofs and go through it and understand them, it helps me write my own proofs later. So it's pretty nice. Um, so I'll get on to reading and then start typing up more of my thesis. Thank you. 